Hola, soy Lourdes, Brand Ambassador with Spanish 55. Welcome back to our Subjunctive Mood Series, where we tackle this grammar structure. Today, we'll be talking about dishes. You heard me right, but I'm not talking about the dishes piling up in your kitchen sink. We will be learning the six irregular verbs in the present subjunctive, as well as the spelling changes for verbs ending in car, gar, and sar. ¿Listos? Antes de comenzar, recuerda, we use the subjunctive to express uncertainty, subjectivity, hypotheticals, doubts, and recommendations. We typically find it in sentences with a main clause followed by a subordinate clause joined by the conjunction que. For example, Nuestro equipo desea que mejores tu español. If you want a more in-depth review of how and when to use a subjunctive, Check out our first video of this series. I will leave the link in the description. Now, do you remember how to conjugate regular verbs in the present subjunctive? Es muy fácil. First, you take your verb like comer. You conjugate it in the present indicative yo form. Yo como. Next, you drop the O at the ending and then you can add your corresponding endings. Ojo, be careful. Endings typically associated with IR and ER verbs are added to our AR verbs. These endings are E, es, E, hemos, en. Let's practice with the verb bailar. First, conjugate the verb in the present indicative yo. Yo bailo. Now drop the o and add your endings. Yo baile, tú bailes, él, ella baile, nosotros bailemos, ustedes, ellos bailen. Muy bien. Now, endings typically associated with AR verbs are added to our IR and ER verbs. These endings are a, as, a, amos, an. Let's practice with the verb tener. Conjugated in the present indicative yo. Yo tengo. Drop the o and add your endings. Yo tenga, tú tengas, él, ella tenga, nosotros tengamos, ustedes, ellos tengan. Perfecto. Since the base of all present subjunctive forms depend on the yo conjugation of the present indicative, all of the irregularities or changes present there will affect the subjunctive. Now, let's dive into those dishes. There are six irregular verbs in the subjunctive. We can remember them with the acronym DISHES. D stands for DAR, I for IR, S for SER, H for HABER, I for ESTAR, and S for saber. Can you guess why these are irregular? Try conjugating them in the present indicative yo form. The present indicative yo conjugations are as follows. Yo doy, yo voy, yo soy, yo he, yo estoy, and yo sé. None of them end in an O. Therefore, we cannot follow our common conjugation pattern. Let's look at each verb individually. Nuestro primer verbo, dar. Conjugated in the present indicative yo doy. For this verb, 
we are going to drop the OY and add our regular endings. However, we add an accent to the yo and el ella forms. The conjugations are as follows. Yo, de, tu, des, el, ella, de, nosotros, demos, ustedes, ellos, den. Those accents are very important. We can find this verb in motivational phrases such as Es necesario que demos nuestro mejor esfuerzo. Our next verb, ir, conjugated in the present indicative yo voy. For this verb, we replace the oy with ay and we add our endings. Conjugated as follows. Yo vaya, tú vayas, él, ella vaya, nosotros vayamos, ustedes, ellos vayan. We might hear this when we're about to go on a trip. Buen viaje, que te vaya bien. Our next verb, ser, conjugated in the present indicative yo soy. For this verb, we will drop the OY, add an E, and follow it by our regular endings. The conjugations are as follows. Yo sea, tú seas, él, ella sea, nosotros seamos, ustedes, ellos sean. We might use this when we're waiting at the airport. Uf, espero que nuestro grupo sea el próximo en abordar. Our next verb, haber, conjugated in the present indicative yo he. For this verb, we're going to get rid of the a and replace it with an a y followed by our regular endings conjugated as follows yo haya tú hayas él ella haya nosotros hayamos ustedes ellos hayan we might hear this after we finished a meal at a restaurant Espero que hayan disfrutado su comida. Next verb, estar. Conjugated in the present indicative yo estoy. Similarly to what we did with dar, we are going to drop the OY and add our regular endings with those accents. Conjugated as follows. Yo esté... Tú estés, él, ella esté, nosotros estemos, ustedes estén. Don't forget those accents. We use this a lot when we're texting or writing emails. Espero que estés muy bien. And finally, our last verb, saber. Conjugated in the present indicative yo sé. For this verb, we're going to get rid of the accent in the E, add a P, and follow it by our regular endings. The conjugations are as follows. Yo sepa, tú sepas, él sepa, nosotros sepamos, ustedes, ellos sepan. For example, no es necesario que sepan todo inmediatamente. That was a lot, but not as hard as washing dishes. Keep practicing, si puedes. Verbs ending in car, like sacar, gar, like pagar, and sar, like lanzar, present the following spelling changes. C-A-R is replaced by Q-U. G a R is replaced by G U and Z A R is replaced by a C. All of these spelling changes are then followed by our regular endings. Let's look at an example for each ending. Sacar. We replace the C A R 
by Q, U, and add our endings. Yo saque, tú saques, él, ella saque, nosotros saquemos, ustedes, ellos saquen. Es importante que saquemos la basura todos los días. It seems like I'm talking about a lot of chores today. Now let's look at pagar. We replace the G-A-R for G-U and add our endings. Yo pague, tú pagues, él, ella pague, nosotros paguemos, ustedes, ellos paguen. Now let's look at an example. El banco recomienda que pague mi tarjeta a tiempo. And lastly, lanzar. We replace the Z-A-R by C and add our endings. Yo lance, tú lances, él, ella lance, nosotros lancemos, ustedes, ellos lancen. Mi padre me prohíbe que lance la pelota adentro de la casa. These are some of the irregularities in the present subjunctive. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you're ready to take your Spanish to the next level, don't forget that Spanish 55 is here to help you. Don't hesitate and book a free consultation through the link in the description. If you like this video and want some more, give it a big me gusta and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to keep tuning into this Subjunctive Mood series. ¡Hasta pronto!